Welcome, welcome. Happy Monday. My name is T. Marie. I make transformation easy with products, practices, and coaching. This right here is All's Well Lifestyle. We're going to dive right in today talking about a weekend to remember. A weekend to remember. Here it is, Monday in the United States of America. So we're just coming off of our weekend. And I can tell you right now, I had a phenomenal one. Uh, Weekend fun is so important. And this is something that really, from a personal development, a wellness, and even a spiritual perspective, weekend fun is so important. So if you're like me and sometimes you just out of comfort or maybe out of necessity, your weekends kind of become utilitarian. Today, we're going to talk about weekend fun. We're going to talk about why it's important. And I'm just going to share a little bit about what happened for me. So this weekend was incredible for me. I had such a wonderful time. There were sights, there were sounds, there was joy, just all of the mix. As a matter of fact, it was so good that it was extraordinary. So, you know, I think weekends are good in general. We feel like we can relax uh, whenever our weekend comes. I know people work uh, on different days of the week, but whenever our weekend comes, I think there is a sense of relaxation that arrives because, you know, we're going to get a little break. But when it's extraordinary and you really feel like, I had fun. Oh my gosh, I had fun. There's this sensation that awakens everything else because it's such a stark contrast. So while I think we're all grateful for that relaxation that comes and that break, this weekend was fun. This weekend was fun. I was a tourist in my own city and saw a lot of new things and had a lot of great new experiences and memories. I spent time with family that came to visit us. So there was that uh, joy of, you know, the personalities and the new company and all of that. So it was just a really wonderful, fun time. So I'm going to take you through some of what we experienced and definitely just have you really thinking, you know, how was your weekend? How was your weekend? Whatever the last weekend you experienced was, definitely comment, you know, chat, reach out to me. Let me know. How was your weekend? And when was the last time that you felt that coming out of your weekend, like that was great. I had so much fun. Has it been recent? I'm telling you, it's a marked difference. And from a mental, a spiritual, a physical, a personal development perspective, this is powerful for us to employ. So we're talking about a weekend to remember, how to create it, why we want it, and how to differentiate the two. All right? It's all about fun. It's all about fun. Yes. We are talking about weekend fun, weekend fun and making a weekend to remember. When was the last time you have done this? Was your last weekend really great? Now I know we appreciate our weekend time. Maybe it's the time to rest. Maybe it's the time to catch up. Maybe it's the time to do self-care things, but how about fun? Pure fun where you are left just filled with joy. We're talking about creating a weekend to remember. And I shared a little bit about at the top how this weekend for me was just that. We had visitors coming in, family to come and see us. And so we really, in order to have fun with them, we wanted to take them out, which then resulted in us being tourists in our own city, which then resulted in us just having an extraordinary time, different than what we normally do. And so I wanted to talk about that today so that, you know, we all can maybe plug into this a little more. I'm telling you, we had so much fun. So we went to new places that we had never been in our own city. We are new to Michigan, but still, we don't normally do that. We go into our weekend and we end up doing other things and we have a, a good time. But fun, yahoo, fun. I don't know. This one was different. So there were all kinds of wonders that I felt visiting 
the new places we visited this weekend. For example, there is a river walk here in Michigan because we're around so many great lakes and bodies of water. And so there's a river walk and we had visited that in the past uh, during the colder season. And it was beautiful, beautiful. But this time we actually took a river cruise. And even though it took us around and it was about an hour, oh my goodness, what a different Different perspective, different view, and everything else. So I offer this first point to you. You know, here we were on this river cruise. We had a drink. The, you know, we're we're circling between the United States and Canada. We're on this beautiful blue water, just enjoying a different perspective, meeting people that are seated around us. It was fantastic. Now Where in your town could you maybe revisit a place even you might have been, but in a new way? Maybe taking a tourist tour, a tour bus, uh, going maybe to a same place, but looking at it from a different perspective or visiting a new floor of the museum, etc. So this is a way that we can create weekend fun that keeps on giving to us. I tell you, it was joyous in the moment and Clearly, even today, just starting off my week, I feel so revitalized. And it's not even because we've been having bad weekends. It's just that when we have extraordinary fun, yahoo fun, (laughs) it really adds so much extra goodness. Where in your town or city can you find new wonders? I'm telling you, there are wonders in your city, honey. Okay. There are wonders in your city, in your town, on your block that you have not seen before. Today, we're talking about creating weekend fun, that extraordinary weekend experience and how it helps us mentally, spiritually, and in our lives just on a whole, like on a whole personal development level. This weekend was so incredible for us and it just has me jazzed, like just energized, amazing. So I wanted to talk about that because I noticed a distinct difference and it's not like every other weekend is bad. It's just that this was so marked, incredibly different. I'm like, I got to share this. And so yes, there is a wonderland in your city, in your town, that maybe you just haven't even picked up on yet because you just pass by it. So, you know, we had been visiting new places. I'll give you another example. So we pass by, in Michigan, there's an area called St. Clair Shores, and it's a beautiful, I mean, there are huge estates and there are incredible views of the lake, and it's really, really nice. And we had seen a place that we wanted to visit, And we hadn't been there yet. And because we had family visiting, we took, you know, we all went together. And oh my gosh, uh, we entered an area of luxury that we just like, it literally blew our minds. So it essentially was the Ford house. So um, Henry Ford, the creator of the Ford Motor Company, his only son, and um, his son's wife, they had created this incredible estate. I'm talking 80 acres and their beautiful home, and it's a historic, it's a museum now. And so we went, and it was so extraordinary. Now, the reason why I give this example is because we pass by that area many times, and we always enjoy the view, and we always have a good time, and we say, oh, it's beautiful here, and we feel good. And we say, oh, we're going to check out the Ford house. We're going to check out the Ford house, but we hadn't done it yet. We've been here for about nine months, okay, to give you an example. I think we all can relate where we're living our lives and things are good. It's not like something's deeply missing, but we just, yeah, we're going to do that, you know, and, and we're still having fun. But then we went this time. We actually went in and we saw the grounds and we became members of the museum and we looked at the house and it was just, wow. I personally love being in museums so much, like especially art museums and museums that feature architecture. That to me really speaks to my soul. And so, you know, everything from the grounds to the views to the textiles, it just really lit me up. And we all have this. 
We all have this where there are parts of our neighborhood, our city, our town, our downtown that is, has wonders, has wonders that will feed our soul, that will create that weekend to remember, and you don't even have to go far. Talk about good news, okay? So yes, we are talking about how we can use these things to fuel our spirit, to fuel our lives and give us that energy and that zest for living. And so you might not think, you might not think it's for you, but I'm telling you, there's something about it for you. I'm telling you. Sorry, I love this song so much. I I got a little distracted. (laughs) My bad, I'm sorry. I was just grooving out. I was just grooving out here in the studio. (laughs) Today we're talking about having a good time, having those memorable weekend experiences, those great weekend experiences, why we want them, how it helps us. So yes, Are there wonders in your city, town, neighborhood that you can explore in a new way? It could even be a a piece, an area that you pass by many times, but this time you go into the building or this time you take the tour. You know, you can always be a tourist in your city and it really goes a long way. I'm telling you, I'm just flying high from the weekend that we had. And then also just kind of realizing that this is for us, that we can do it. I know often we get settled in our life and we just, you know, we're enjoying our weekend. Maybe we're relaxing or we're doing our errands or we're having those self-care moments. But when we go out and act like we're visiting, like we're vacationing in our own town, it's really special. We went to many new places to eat for the first time and just... It was really extraordinary. And so I offer that to you because I'm telling you, it just feels so good in the moment. And then it just keeps on giving as well. And so we move on into why this revitalizes everything. So it can give us something to look forward to without thinking that we need to wait for vacation to come or wait for when we, you know, take that long trip or a a special time. So it can be something that we can look forward to, and it doesn't even have to be something that's huge, just different. So is there a restaurant that you've wanted to experience, a a bar, um, a cafe, or a museum, you know, that type of thing. And then also in the moment, it's so extraordinary. So I started off talking about uh, the Detroit River Walk and how we had gone there during the cooler months and it was wonderful and we were along the side of the river walk there but that this time we went to the same river walk took a walk but then we took a river cruise and even though it was only an hour being able to get onto the boat and sail between the united states and canada and have a drink and meet new people all doing the same thing it was a totally new dimension to the experience and it really was phenomenal. And so it's in the moment, it revitalizes as well. And then afterward, it's amazing because it's that good energy, similar to what we get when we're on vacation, when we come home and we're just, wow, that was so good. So it's a way for us to also prepare ourselves to stay in a great mental, spiritual, emotional space so we tackle the next week with like gusto and we feel good because we've been rewarded all weekend long, you know? And hey, this is for all of us in some way, shape or form, you know? If funds are low, you know, it can be natural experiences, which are all often, if not always free or very, very low cost, maybe just the parking or something like that. So, you know, I just want to open up this opportunity because it's a way to have an all's well lifestyle. We're all's well all the time and it's for you. So, uh, yeah, you know, and it's a way for us to have that revitalized brand new day experience. I hate it, but I don't hate it. I can't help it. I go a little over because I get so excited. Oh, it's exactly 1230. Okay, okay. We're still doing good. (laughs) Anyhow, this week we have talked about creating those extraordinary weekend fun experiences that will knock your socks off. And that is because it will make you feel great to look forward to it. 
wonderful while you're doing it and extraordinary afterward because then you're revitalized. You're feeling good and you're empowered. This is for you, my loves, my friends. So go out, have fun, plan a little something special for yourself and have an all's well lifestyle. It's for you. And we do this woohoo! <laughs> because it serves us in the moment and afterward, okay? So remember that you're worth it, that you're phenomenal and that you deserve the very, very best all the time. It doesn't have to cost a lot. Creating those weekend fun experiences, the fun, the fun where you say, woo, oh my, that was amazing. You deserve it. Give it a try. Come on back and tell me how it went. My name is T. Marie. I make transformation easy with products, practices, and coaching. You can reach me anytime at tmarie.com. That's T E E M A R E E.com. Now, wherever you connected with me, let's do it again. Let's do it again because I'm going to be here and I'm going to be waiting for you so we can join again next week, same place, same time. Okay. Have a fantastic, wonderful week. And remember that you're amazing. I can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye.